What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today, another vintage collection pack for you, the biggest one yet. This is the Sega CD pack for the vintage collection build. Um, if you're not familiar with vintage collection, go ahead and check the right hand uh, top, top of your screen there. And boom, you can click that and go ahead and get the front end. Uh, and this is the biggest pack by far. Uh, so far, this is 56.5 gigs when it's zipped and once extracted it's 75 gigabytes so it's a it's a fairly large uh, system obviously it's cd based the games are larger um, and it includes all of the artwork and everything you need to get up and running so what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and that's going to take you to the arcade punks uh, and they are a great website so go ahead and scroll down until you find the, the link you want uh, and that'll get you the Sega CD Vintage Collection Pack. Um, and it's going to look a so little something like this once you have it. So you've got all of these Z01, Z02s, 3s, 4s, 5s, all the way down. Um, looks like 83 files in total. So the one you're going to want to focus on to extract is just the dot .zip. So for me, it's very down at the very bottom. The Vintage Collection Sega CD Pack dot zip. That's the one we focus on. You're going to go ahead and right click. If you're using WinRAR, you can do extract here. If you're using 7-zip, uh, go ahead and extract here. Once that's completed, you're going to have a folder, Vintage Collection. And inside is the Sega CD Pack. So to get this working with our Vintage Collection build, we're going to right click, cut, and then go to the root of your H drive. Make sure you can see your vintage collection folder. And in the root of your H drive, you're gonna right click and hit paste. So I've already done this. It's very large, so I'm not gonna make you guys watch it copy over, um, but it's ready to rock and roll. So once yours is copied over, um, you have the choice. I mean, you could, you could delete all of the zip files if you want now that you have the pack, or you can hang on to them for later. Uh, but like I said, it's a big pack, so it's going to take up a lot of a lot of hard drive space. But I'm going to close that one out. Man, I love the Model One Genesis. It's it's the it's just one of the nicest looking consoles of all time. Uh, I really really like the Model One. So now we'll go into Vintage Collection, Attract, and let's launch this up and take a look. So as you can see, I'm already on Sega CD. We'll go on in. Uh, it says 171, but some games are multi-disc. But you can see here, uh, you're getting the 3D box art as well as the disc art. So everything is there. The wheel art, the snap, the disc art, and the box art. Tons of games. Um... One thing I like, and, and the reason why I like to keep the bottom bar uh, with the game name, is for scrolling through any system, but it really works well when you have multi-disc. So if you haven't tried Cadillacs and Dinosaurs for Sega CD, check that out. Uh, Chuck Rock, Chuck Rock 2. So let me get to a multi-disc game. So some of this stuff uh, I've had to not create, but modify. It Like I couldn't find the box art for this game, I believe, and so I had to do something with that. Uh, so here we have Corpse Killer. So what I did was, here's Corpse Killer, and there's Corpse Killer 32X. So both of them are included for the Sega CD pack. Um, I left the 32, uh, 32X variations in there for anyone. You know, if you see a difference or whatever, it's totally up to you. But I wanted to leave it all in there for you. Um, so here, here we go. So Dracula Unleashed, Disc 1, Disc 2. Uh, there's Dragon's Lair. I mean, there are a ton of different games in here. Earthworm Jim looks really good on the Sega CD. Let's see. So you got Fahrenheit Disc 1, Fahrenheit Disc 2. And I mean, this, I believe, is the complete North American set. Um... I, I never say my packs are complete sets because there could be something I've missed somewhere down the line, but I'm 
I, I double, triple check. I'm pretty sure this is. But uh, don't quote me on it. I'm not guaranteeing that it's complete, but it is what it is. You got Lethal Enforcers. And just a ton, a ton of games. Mad Dog. So uh, there was the NXS. Uh, I remember these make your own uh, music videos um, artwork. So I got them all. It took a bit. I know some of these I had to create the artwork. Um, not create, but like modify the files so that, you know, use a certain box art and then find another box art and make it work. That's that's what taught me how to use the, the program GIMP. So I like using GIMP. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. And um, I'm learning, you know, as the days go on. <laughs> uh, there's Night Trap. So you got Night Trap, uh, Disc 1, Disc 2. And then you have the Night Trap 32X, Disc 1, Disc 2. Uh, Pen and Teller, that's definitely one. Um, I believe it was the box art that I had to modify to get this one rocking. But I did have the disc art, which was nice. But as you can see, everything. All the artwork, everything. I mean, you're looking at the disc, you're looking at the box, the snap, the wheel. This, it just looks amazing. I really, really like it. Uh, Sega CD is not a system I'm too familiar with, but I wanted to get this pack out there. Uh, thanks to Arcade Punks for hosting it. Uh, it's a massive uh, file. Like I said, you're looking at 56.5 gigs zipped and 75 gigs once it's extracted. The San Diego Zoo, um, the animals, Monkey Island. I mean, there, there's just so much going on here. So if you're not familiar, um, if you're not familiar with Sega CD, uh, as I'm not very familiar, go ahead and check it out. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of cool games. You know, I basically just see the video snaps so far. I haven't really gotten into a lot of games, but um, I've heard good things. So definitely uh, give this a go. Uh, so as always, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly. Have a good day.